Darren, you didn't get the opportunity to, to go to the combine in Indianapolis. That kind of made today uh, one big exam for you. How do you feel like you did? I felt like I did great. You know, I just went out there and gave it all I got, and um, I set goals, and I think I hit a lot of them. Did you have any specific goals that you wanted to hit? I had a goal in every event. Um, I'm not going to go in detail on all of them, but everything I want, I just I set a mark, and I trained hard to hit those marks. Did, did you get a number on your 40? Uh, yeah, kind of. So some had a uh, high 4.4, four, uh, low 4.5. Okay. So somewhere around there. What, what did you? What have you done since you know you didn't get to go to the combine? What, how did you spend your time? Training. I trained. Uh, I was out in California for three months, and I've been training nonstop. Besides going to the uh, Reese's game and uh, East West. Was what? it a surprise that you didn't get? Was it a disappointment or a surprise that you didn't? Get yeah, to um, you know, I was a little disappointed. Uh, you know, that's a dream, go there and compete against other players. But, uh, you know, it happens and adversity hits and you got to know how to respond. What did you kind of hear from the feedback you got from the scouts that were here today? Uh, one of the biggest things I just took away from meeting just now is he said, uh, it's not rest time now. You know, uh, you train for this. Now you don't go sit down and, and wait. Now you got to go train harder for the next interview, the next job, which is uh, rookie minicamp. What do you have kind of in your mind for, you know, I guess the, the weekend of the draft? What what are, what are you going to do? I'm just going to stay at home and, and just hang out with the family. No parties, nothing. I'm just keep it low key and uh, just soak it all in. You and Clyde, will you push each other throughout this whole process? Yeah, we've been pushing each other since I got here. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, he made me a better back, and I made him a better back. And I, I just I tell the young guys, don't be afraid of competition, because it, in the end, you guys both will get better. What does it mean to have James here today? It was cool, you know, he, same old James was right there helping me out, and uh, he's like a big brother to me, and I'm gonna be hitting him up in the next 20 minutes as to, you know, what's next, what should I expect next, and uh, just be prepared. How proud are you guys of the, the kind of lineage um, talked about? You know, which which pit running back that's in the NFL did you want to stand in front yeah. of here? How, how much is that something that you, you guys think about? Um, it's it's an honor to just be here and uh, to, to wear the jersey and to be called a running back because there's so many great ones, and uh, you know it, it just helps because I can I can go to any of those guys and they can give me advice and I, that's big for me and you know just to be in a, in the a conversation with those guys is amazing. You had the one meeting here so far. Have you got any more lined up here? Yeah, I have. Um, today would be a busy day, and uh, you know I just got to stay sharp. Through most of you know your, your time as a as a football player, you're in control of a lot of decisions about where you're going to go. This one ends up mostly out of your control. Is that nerve wracking at all? Is it something you think about? Uh, it's it's a lot different. You know, I don't pick them anymore. They pick me. So. Uh, really, you just gotta just give them your best effort and and don't take days off and you know everything go in your favor.